Hey guys, Chuck from RV Tech Tips. Uh, we're out here camping um, on the Nehalem River in Oregon. Check it out. We're about 30 miles from the Oregon coast and I brought some work to do. Um, I brought this furnace here that runs for 30 seconds and then it, uh, it shuts off. So let's take a look and see what's wrong with it. So that's a really common um, issue. Um, there's only three things that cause that. Uh, the sail switch, the limit switch, and uh, or the, the circuit board. Um, the sail switch is a safety device so the, the flame doesn't light without the fan running. Uh, the limit switch is the overheat device that if, it, if the furnace is getting too hot it shuts it down. So both uh, pieces are really important but they fail pretty often. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and see what happens. Okay, hopefully you can hear it. The fan just turned on. And first thing I'm gonna do is check the limit switch. The limit switch is in the back. All right, so we gotta take this plate off here. This is our limit switch. Let's see if we have power on both sides. The case is grounded, so I'll put my ground right here. 12.26. I don't know if you can see it. 12.27. Twelve point two seven. Okay, so our limit switch is good. Now let's get over to the sail switch. Sail switch is right here. Now this is a newer model, this is a 2020 model. The sail switch is a lot easier on this one to test. It's because um, the wires are exposed here. Uh, most of them are gonna be in here. So you're gonna have to just shove your, um, your, your voltmeter leads into the terminal here, or maybe nick the wire a little bit, but uh, make sure to tape it up. So let's test that. Fans running. Our voltmeter. Battery's a little low. This is, we've got 10 volts here. And nothing on the other side of the sail of the sail switch. So we got ourselves a bad sail switch. Let's change it out and then uh, see if it fires up. Okay, so I changed the sail switch. Let's turn it back on. Got 10 volts there. 10 volts there. Should fire up. Let's see. It's trying to light now. There it goes. It's running. I will warn you, 10 volts is really too low for this 
my battery must be a little bit low. Um, but yeah, that's how you test your limit and your sail switch. Um, both of them, when they fail, uh, it'll just run for about 30 seconds and then shut shut down. All right. Um, yeah, if you want to see any more videos like this, tutorials on uh, how to fix uh, RV appliances and stuff, subscribe. And I'll uh, keep putting out videos. All right. Thanks.